Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight of the evening is in the Tough Enough Amateur Welterweight Division. Introducing first, standing in the blue corner, with one win and one loss, fighting out of Extreme Couture, Las Vegas, Nevada, Montel Williams! Standing across the cage in the red corner, making his amateur MMA debut, fighting out of Defend You, Las Vegas, Nevada, Jason Virage! Referee in charge of the action is Mark Smith. Montel Williams in the white and red, Jason Wyrick in the black. You can see the big thing that stands out to you on the tail of tape. 35 years old against 19 for Montel Williams. Let's see if Jason Wyrick brings Whoa, that nice, old man nice. strength. Nice left hook to the takedown by Montel. Guillotine choke already. Arm in guillotine choke. It looked like he tapped better. Yeah, it was. One tap on I guess maybe he was trying to establish position. Referee Mark Smith was right on top of it. See, Wyrick still trying to squeeze the yeah. neck. Thumbs up signal there for Montel Williams. Mark Smith backs away to readjust. I think Wyrick is going to have to let go of this in a minute before he gasses out. He's going to burn his arms out. Absolutely. Montel looks very calm and relaxed. You can see he's got his chin inside. Wyrick trying to adjust. From this angle, Montel kind of looks like um, Jay Heron. <laughs> <laughs> nice observation there. Montel Williams surviving through this hold right now. You see Jason Wyrick trying to readjust. It, it does seem like the arm is slipping more under the chin again. But what, what Montel needs to do is he needs to figure out a way to, get, to shimmy his uh, left hand back to his side. Create distance from the left hand with, the, with his left arm, actually. Yeah, right now it's just trapped underneath. Trapped. Yeah, he needs to get it out. Maybe he could use that left arm and, and push away. I'm trying to slam out. That might yeah. not necessarily it be it Actually made it tighter. I was going to say, it seems like sometimes you can push yourself further in. Ryrick still just squeezing on there. Credit to him for squeezing his guillotine choke as long yeah. as he has. I don't know how much energy he could possibly have left in his arms. I mean, this has got to be going on, you know, a minute plus that he's squeezing on this guillotine. And now it's loosening up. You can see it now. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. It's featured Jason Wyrick basically squeezing on the neck of Montel Williams the entire round. You see Montel kind of with the frustrated uh, what's up motion there. Saying Big shout out to some the of our time. friends in the house. MMA and Junkie. His eyes. Check them out online at MMAJunkie.com for their it's weekly like radio you know, show. Gorgeous George uh, and goes in the house tonight. I think you got to give the first the round to Jason Wyrick. I mean, obviously he didn't finish John the hold, but that was the Morgan. offense. Had him in danger the whole time. Had him in danger the whole time. Yeah. But Jason Wyrick, interesting, wanted to take the fight to the floor right away. We'll see if he wants to do that again here in the second round. Because once Montel got on top, he found himself in trouble, but he was never really, uh, never really in danger. It looked like he was giving the thumbs up. There was that initial tap where it looked like there was one tap on the ground, but maybe he was just trying to bridge out. Well, you really can't bridge. <laughs> I guess so. He's trying to apply pressure moving forward, I guess. All right, Montel Williams, white and red trunks. You know the name. That's him. He's the son of Montel Williams, the talk show host. Jason Wyrick, 16 years the senior in the black and red. Williams going to look for the takedown again, it looks like. Wraps the body. Oh, he has to step across the body and bring his hips in. Yeah, looking to get the trip there. Really just kind of muscled Muscle into that, that takedown. Yeah. Side control now. Great job going away the opposite side of the headlock. Uh, that arm around the neck won't be doing anything right now. Except, of course, possibly choking Wyrick himself if he yeah. stays there. Now, now, um, what um, my tongue's do is go, go establish north-south choke. Go to north-south position, establish a choke. Well, or just look to try to transition, posture up. Get, you know, full mount sometimes can be overrated. But he should look to knee on belly, posture up, throw some shots, smother him again. Get some get back, because it's time to get some, get, get some payback. <laughs> That's true. Side control here. It very, looks very comfortable in side control. Wyrick rolling there. He could be going for armbar. Oh, he's looking to set up the armbar, isn't he? Oh. 
Oh, transitions around to the back. Thought he was teasing the armbar a little bit. Instead, he's going to move to the back. Rear naked choke time. And that's in. There comes the tap. Montel Williams shows you how to get it done when you get an opportunity to choke. He finished that quick. Is his name Montel Williams or Montel Williams Jr.? <laughs> I think he might be the third or the junior. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is, he did it right there. Did. Impressive finish there. Yeah. Got, we're going to take a look at the final action here. Side control here, Mo. Walk us through it. Uh, side control. He teases for the Kimura slash armbar. Spins behind him. Uh, right there. Th puts one hook in. Sinks the um, red naked choke in. And it's over right yeah, there. Yeah, Krebs didn't even have the second hook in, but he saw the opening, yeah. got the arm right underneath the neck, yeah. and got the finish. That was a slick it was transition. Pretty slick. Pretty slick. Pretty quick, too, as well. Yeah, very much so. He had the opportunity to finish it off. Montel Williams with the impressive submission win. Maybe that's Kim Couture. Kim Couture there. Let's take it up. Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 12 seconds into the second round, your winner by tap out due to rear naked choke, the blue corner, Montel Williams. So Montel Williams survives some early trouble in the opening round, picks up a submission of his own in the second, moves to two and one in his career. Jason Wyrick looked good to open his amateur career, but ultimately was tapped out in the second round. He falls. 2 oh, and one Don't go away. We still got plenty of action here in the Tough Enough Cage.